All right, another day, another C++ program. This time we call it making abstract data types. And to get started with this program, I'm gonna go ahead and declare, once again, a class. So this is gonna be our base class. We call it shape because we will be dealing with uh, rectangles and quadrilaterals later on. But before we get to that, let me explain what's inside this class. So we have the public access specifier here, and then we have three virtual methods, and we initialize them to zero. Uh, by doing so, um, we're making what are known as virtual, pure virtual methods. Our base class can be made into an abstract data uh, type with these pure virtual methods. Okay, and this will that will make sense later on once I start uh, working with the code. So here, I'll get started with the derived class. Um, let me go ahead and. Uh, yeah, I'll go ahead and put it all in all at once. Okay, so let me go ahead and make the derived class all at once here by pasting. <laughs> so um, here is the derived class. So rectangle um, takes from the um, base class shape. We put some uh, private variables in here. And then we um, start using this public access identifier for several uh, methods and our constructors here. So here is a public constructor. Uh, we named it rectangle. And it um, takes two arguments. And we assigned the arguments to acquire the name of height and with. Then we also put a destructor down here, which we won't be using in this program, but eh, that's besides the point. So here, um, I declare several methods that will override the uh, vir uh, pure virtual methods. Get area, where um, the area formula is height times width. Then the get edge, which is going to be uh, the name for the perimeter. This is the formula where you get the two um, heights and the two uh, widths, and then you add them together to get the perimeter. And then here, we're going to use the draw method. Um, so it's a couple for loops, an end line, and another for loop with a different variable, j. Um, and it will be outputting x's. Essentially, what this is going to do is it's going to be a clever way to draw out the shape um, of the uh, quadrilaterals we have in question. It'll be interesting. All right, in our main method, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get this out. So we want pointers uh, passing arguments into the constructor. So shape being the base class, then we name it pquad. Um, then we uh, assign it to uh, the rectangle uh, constructor right there, passing these arguments in. This were the um, apparently the width, and then this were the um, height, I believe. Yeah, I, th I think that's correct. Anyways. Go ahead and uh, get this here. So, and the other portion. Okay, so we'll be calling, we'll be making method calls with the class pointers, and of course using C out um, for the output. So it's gonna uh, call the draw. We're gonna make an output line. We're gonna call it get area. We're gonna call it get edge. 
and uh, likewise with the square um, just with the different um, you know past arguments and yeah let's watch so sure enough um, area is 21 so 3 times 7 is 21 that is correct then perimeter 6 plus 14 yep and then here 5 times 5 and then 10 plus 10 yep the math is all good and uh, as for the shape that's based on this for loop right here um, it's passing in the the argument so we'll get we'll get the um, the width and the heights all correct um, so here it'll do you know it'll, it'll output the thing about seven times and then it'll break into a new line then uh, break into another line and we, then we eventually get our, our shape one our square and one's our uh, quadrilateral uh, so yeah there we go.